Let's do this. Well, hello there. Welcome in. I got a really exciting PR package the other day. It's the new nine pan palettes from Sigma. And you guys know I have a total crush on the Sigma eyeshadow formulas. We're going to be looking at these palettes today. I'm going to pick one and we'll do a full face of makeup. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50, over 60 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot of great information just waiting for you there. As I mentioned, I'll be doing a full face of makeup today. A lot of it is new to me that I haven't tried before. And as always, all products that I use and mention today will be listed and linked below. And they'll also be over on the blog, so super easy for you to find. And with that, let's hop into the makeup. I have my face all prepped with my morning skincare. I've been using a couple of new products that I really like and I thought I'd share them with you. The first one is this Bonajour Green Tea Water Balm Moisturizer. This is from Yes Style and I believe it's a K-Beauty product. I love this. It's one of those really, really hydrating kind of watery moisturizers. It feels really light on the skin, but gosh, it really does do a good job of really hydrating my skin, so enjoying this a lot. The other new skincare product I've been using is the Clinique All About Eyes. This is an eye cream. I haven't really used a dedicated eye cream before in my skincare. This is the first one that I've tried, and I really do like it. I think this is the sample size. I believe I got it in a little kit around the holidays. You can see it right here. I've really kind of <laughs> put a dent into the product. I'm liking this a lot. Of course, because I haven't used a lot of eye creams, I can't compare it against anything else, really. However, I do really like this formula. So if you're looking for an under eye cream, I can tell you I'm enjoying this very much. For face primer today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Age Perfect Blurring Face Primer. This is fairly new to me. They just sent it a few weeks ago, and I'm really liking it. It has a nice little squeeze tube. I'm going to start out with just about this much on the back of my hand. It feels like kind of a stiff lotion formula, but I like the fact that it really does blur out <laughs> my pores and makes my skin just look a lot smoother before I put my foundation on. I'm going to be using two eyeshadow primers today. The first one is this Milani, and I'm gonna use it with a little makeup trick that's going all around from Wayne Goss and that is to put eyeshadow primer underneath your eyes where your concealer is going to go. I don't know how this has worked. I've never done it before. And the reason I'm using my Milani is because it's a little bit lighter formula than the one I'm actually going to use on my lids. So I'm just going to put that right underneath my eyes. I haven't seen the Wayne Goss video where he demonstrates this, but I've watched so many other makeup videos that have done this technique and talked about it, so I thought we'd give it a whirl today. For my eyelids, I'm gonna use the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Eyeshadow Primer. This is really great if you have discoloration on your lids because it's so opaque, it covers everything up. So I've got a little bit on my fingers here and just tap it over the lids. To color correct, I'm going to use my Stila Correct and Perfect. This is a great palette because it has all the colors in it in case you've got some issues that you want to color correct. I'm going to dab into this little peach color right here and that's going to go right underneath my eyes where that purple area is. Just tap a little bit and you can see how much that really <laughs> cancels out that purple shadow underneath my eye. I have a new brow product today that I'm really excited about, but before I go in with that new product, I'm just going to define the outline of my brows with this pencil. This is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim, and I have it in the color blonde. I really like this pencil very much. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to define the outline of my brow and sort of just box the shape in so I know where I'm going with the new product. Well, I've got some wild brows today. They seem to be going in every different direction. The new brow product is from NYX, and it's their Lift and Snatch Brow Pin. And I don't know if this is a pin or what. I guess it's a pin because it has sort of a felt tip. And let me show you what the lines look like from this brow pencil. Isn't that just so very cool? I'm excited to try this and see how it looks. I got the color taupe, so I'm just going to start drawing in hair-like strokes along my brow and see how that works out. 
this really is cool because it just puts the faintest little stroke-like color on your brows. It's great for filling in little areas that you might need a little bit more hair-like strokes in. What do we think? I think that's kind of a cool little product. Let's hop into the eyeshadow now. I want to show you the six colorways that Sigma's come out in these little nine pan palettes. I absolutely love the Sigma formula and I'm so excited about these new palettes. This first one is called Ivy and you can see the colorway right here. So very pretty. I so much thought about using this palette today but I just did a blue eyeshadow look a couple of weeks ago and I thought maybe you guys are retired of it. This does have a beautiful green in it, a beautiful blue, and just some gorgeous supporting neutral colors. Love this colorway. The next one is Fiery, and you can see this is a very, very warm tone with the reds and the oranges. Just gorgeous. I'm not sure if this is a palette that will work for my skin tone, but I think it's a beautiful colorway. Next we have Ritzy, and this is a classic gorgeous neutral palette. The thing that I find really interesting and really nice about this particular palette is it has both warm browns and cool browns down here. We have sort of a bronzy gold shimmer shade and then down in this area a silvery shimmer shade. So I think this is beautiful if you want to put together a neutral look and you're able to go back and forth between warm tones and cool tones. Now we have Spicy. This again is a cool tone palette with a little bit of plum accent to it. Again, gorgeous. We have a gold shimmer shade here, kind of a rose gold shimmer shade in the middle, and the beautiful neutral tones. And what I like about these palettes is they really do give you a deep, rich color to accent the outer corner of the eye, as well as a lighter color to highlight underneath your brow bone or the inside corner of your eye. They're really beautifully put together. Now we have Rosy. I'm so in love with all these palettes. Look at this. How beautiful is that? This, of course, is your rose tone. So we have a, a nice selection of pinky purples with a pop of gold over here. I think that's so gorgeous. Again, the really dark color right here to deepen the crease and a lighter color for underneath the brow and for other areas that you want to highlight. Such a pretty palette. And the last one and the one that I really want to use today is called Hazy. Here's the colorway right here. So very, very beautiful. This is mostly a cool tone palette with a little bit of some rosy tones right here for accent. It's so very pretty. I thought it would be fun today to put together kind of a smoky eye look. I'm going out to dinner later on tonight with some friends, so I thought, okay, that will go with what I'm wearing. I'm going to take my BK Beauty 202 brush and dip it into this color hazy right here, and that's going to go into the transition area. So I'm going to relax my eye and just place that right above my natural crease. And the reason is, is that I want to bring my eye up, so I'm going to start in with the crease area a little bit higher than it is naturally now. <laughs> Gosh, that is such a pretty color. The one thing I can say about the Sigma formula for me, they are so pigmented, yet so soft and so blendable. They're just so very easy to work with. Putting together a beautiful look is just a lot of fun. I'm going to go ahead and bring that up almost to my eyebrow, and then I'll highlight above that area towards the end of the look. Now I'm going to take that same brush and dip into the color Petal right here. That's going to go deeper into the crease. So I'm just going to get that right on the tip of my brush, lift my eyebrow up, and place that deeper into the crease to really define that area. You know, the funny thing is, is that I'm barely on the PR list for Sigma, and yet I have such a hard crush on their eyeshadow formula. So Sigma, if you're listening, <laughs> move me up to the big girl PR list. Now I'm going to take that same 202 brush and dip it in this color Melancholy and that's going to go all over the lid and up into the crease just a little bit. I'm really going for a smoky look and I think that'll be a pretty addition. So I'm just softly starting with that and I'm going to build it up as I go. The Sigma formula just blends together so beautifully. Now I'm going to take a little bit of that Melancholy and I'm just going to deepen it up towards the outside corner of my eye add a little bit more emphasis out there. And I'm going to flick it up just a little bit toward my brow on the outside corner. Now I'm going to take my 201 brush and just work on blending all those colors in together so it's a smooth transition from the lighter color up here down to my lid. 
And I'm just going to flick that outside corner up towards my brow. Now I'm going to take a little flat brush and dip it into this color Dainty right here. And that's going to go right under the eyebrow to highlight that area. So I'm just putting a little bit on the tip of my brush. Tap off any excess. And then I'm just gently going to run that underneath both brows. I really like the way that eyeshadow looks. These formulas are just dreamy. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the number 7 Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum Foundation. Have you tried this? This stuff is really good. I hadn't even heard about it, and then I watched a video from Mrs. Melissa M., and this is one of her Holy Grail favorites, and I decided to try it. Oh my gosh, it is so good. I'm going to start off with about a pump and a half on the back of my hand. And then just dot that over my face. Today I'm going to be using the Sigma Kabuki brush. This is from the Rose Gold collection. I don't know if it's still available. I think it was one of those little holiday collections. If I can find it, I'll go ahead and link it down below. So I'm just going to start blending that over the face. I really love this color and I would love to tell you what it is but I can't find it. <laughs> I'll have it listed down below. It has a little bit of a gray undertone which seems to really work for me. It's almost a perfect color match for me. This blends in so beautifully and it looks so gorgeous on the skin. It just cracks me up because I never even really thought about trying this foundation and now I'm so glad I did. Now I'm just going to press that into my skin with my sponge. This is a Sigma sponge. I've been talking about this so much you guys are probably tired of hearing about it. I have probably 30 different makeup sponges. For some reason this is the one that I keep using. It just has the right amount of squishiness and that tip really really helps with the little nooks and crannies on my face. I just love this sponge. I have a new concealer to dry today. We continue with the great concealer hunt. I'm not sure why I didn't think about trying this one sooner. This is the number 7 Lift and Luminate Serum Concealer. You guys know I've been using the number 7 Lift and Luminate Powder to set my under eyes for a long time. I never thought about trying the concealer, but I did pick it up. I haven't even opened this. I got it in the Color Fair. Beautiful packaging. Number 7 really does a good job. So it's standard doe foot applicator right here. And I'll show you the color on the back of my hand. So that's the color Light. That looks pretty good for me. I'm just going to start with a little, couple little dots underneath the eye. I've been using the BK Beauty 205 brush to blend in my concealer. I'm liking it because it has that little angle and it's really, really soft. So I'm just going to really start pressing that in right in that area where it's purple. And then just when it gets a little less product on my brush, I'm going to start bringing it out to the outside edge. This is a pretty standard concealer consistency. Not real serum -y and not real thick. Looks like it has about medium coverage. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I'm going to put just a tiny bit more right on the bottom of my circles and just gently tap that in. Bringing it down kind of along my nose underneath my eye bags. The concealer is looking pretty good. I like the color. It's bright but not too bright and the formula has really blended in under my eyes. In other words it doesn't look cakey and it's not breaking up. So you can see it right here. Now I'm going to set it with my Fenty Lavender Powder. So I just put a little bit in the cap, tap my brush into it, tap it off, and then very gently place that underneath my eye. Wow, that actually is looking pretty good. Now I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Air Blast. <laughs> I have such a hard time saying that. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I'm going to spray just a little bit on the tip of my sponge and just set that concealer and powder down. That concealer is looking nice. It's certainly beating out a lot of the high-end concealers I've tried. Now I'm going to go in with a Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. I still love this. <laughs> I haven't found a dupe for it yet. Does anybody know if there's a drugstore dupe for this product out there? I'd be interested in finding that out. I like to place it right above the actual hollow in my cheek to lift my face up a little bit. 
and of course my forehead area and then down underneath my chin and a little trick here I want to show you is see how I have the little jowls right here on either side of my face I hit that jowl area because I want to kind of push that back and make it less noticeable I use my stipple brush from Real Techniques and just start blending that in it looks really scary in the beginning but it blends in so beautifully now I just go back in with my sponge and smooth out any edges so that it just blends right into the foundation now I'm going to use the Patrick Ta blush this is in the color she's so LA have you seen this this is so pretty I thought with this kind of neutral look this would be such a beautiful color I'm going to get a little bit of the powder on my blush brush tap that off and just hit the tops of my cheeks with that this is a really subtle beautiful blush perfect for a more neutral look now I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and just blend that in this is a two-step blush it's a very different formula it has the powder down here and the cream up here once I have the powder all blended in I get a little bit of the cream on my fingers and I just put it on two fingers and that just goes on top of the powder formula and blends in it's just such a unique color for highlight I have a new highlight it's from Milani but it arrived all cracked so I don't know if it's gonna fall out of the container when I open it up or not this is in the color strobe light and let me see if I can actually just press it back in oh my gosh it's just <laughs> become very very crackly but I'm gonna push it in and see if we can't just move forward with it so let me put it on the back of my hand Ooh, just really icy looking I think that'll be fun for today isn't that pretty? So I'm going to get a little bit on my highlighter brush, tap it off. It's just going to go at the tops of my cheeks over that blush area and a little bit onto the front. What do we think? That's kind of icy and fun looking, huh? To finish up the eyes, I'm going to do something I rarely, rarely do, and that's put a little bit of color on my lower lid. So I'm going to take this flat brush. This is again from Sigma from the Rose Gold Collection. I'm going to go into this color paddle that I used on the upper eyelid and just get a little bit on the tip of those bristles. Tap it off and I'm going to run it right underneath my lower lashes about a third of the way in just to sort of smoke that area out and connect it up with the shadow look on the upper eyelid. Now I'm going to line the upper lash line with my Lay Liner from L'Oreal. Now I'm going to take a tiny little angled brush and just smudge that out so I don't have to worry about that line being perfect. Now I'm going to tight line with the L'Oreal Lay Liner and do my lashes with the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. You're going to be so surprised at how much longer my lashes look when I put this on. I'll be right back. Now I'm going to use a little bit of the Milani Prep Set and Glow. I like this because it puts just the most beautiful, <laughs> soft, subtle illumination on my skin it never looks powdery it's so very light and so pretty now the airbrush flawless setting spray I have the hardest time saying that for lips I'm going to be using the LA girl lip liner in the color non-stop nude and this is my new favorite nude lip color it's from Huda Beauty it's in the color girl strip Here we have the finished look. You guys, I have to tell you, I'm a little bit surprised. I've never done a smoky eye before. Definitely not on my channel. I don't even know if I've done one on my own. And I think it turned out pretty good. I was concerned that it might not be an appropriate look for someone my age, but I think it looks really, really pretty. I was careful not to go too heavy with the dark up into the crease. So it was a gradation of dark from the lid on up to the eyebrow. And I think it turned out very, very nice. Huge credit, of course, to the Sigma eyeshadow formula. I love this formula. Every time I use it, 
I am so thrilled at how beautiful the colors are, how pigmented they are, and how beautifully they blend together. Absolutely one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas, and I'm so excited with these six nine pan palettes that they've come out with. I think that there's a colorway for almost everyone. I'll make sure that I use a couple of them in the future. If you want to see a particular palette, Put it down in the comments down below and I'll add it to my list. The number seven Lift and Luminate Serum Foundation. This is such a beautiful foundation. Here are a few things that I'm really loving about it. First of all, the way it looks on my skin, particularly in my 10X mirror, it is so pretty. It doesn't look like I've got a lot of makeup on my skin. It's very skin-like, but it does even out my complexion and cover up all the little issues that I want covered up. I do think that this color is almost perfect for me, and I'll do my best to find out what color this actually is. Drugstore Price, Beautiful Formula, Number 7, Lift and Luminate, Triple Action, Serum Foundation. Loving it. All right, you guys, I think I may have found another good concealer. Now, I'm not saying which ones are my favorite now. What I'm doing is that I'm trying all these different concealers, putting some in the absolutely no category, and then very, very few in the yes category. This is the second one in the yes category. The other one is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Concealer, which is a stick concealer, which blows me away. This is the number seven Lift Illuminate Serum Concealer, and it actually looks really good. Now remember, I did do that Wayne Goss trick where I put eyeshadow primer underneath my eyes. I used the Milani, but I'll have to say my under eyes look pretty good. And I'll go ahead and give you guys a close-up so you can see. I like the color. It's a little bit brightening, but not too brightening. It doesn't look cakey. It really is looking pretty good. I'm going to be wearing this makeup all through dinner tonight and then getting home a little bit later. And I'll let you guys know down in the comments below how this lasted for the evening. The NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen, I don't think it worked out very well for me. I'm not sure why. When I put it on the back of my hand, it looked terrific. When I put it on my brows, not so much. I'm thinking the difference is, is that I actually have a lot of brow hairs. So what I really need to do is just fill them in a little bit and then extend out the tip. It's not that I need more individual lashes, and I think this just got caught up in my brow hairs. If you have very, very thin brows and you need to add more hair-like strokes into your brows, I think this is a really, really good choice. Again, this is the Lift and Snatch from NYX. It's very inexpensive. I think it's worth a try if you're really looking to add more hairs into your brows. The Maybelline Sky High Mascara, what can I say? This has been my go-to mascara when I want a lot of length. You can see how my lashes are looking today. My experience with this mascara is that it doesn't smudge. It stays put all day long and then is not a fight to take off at night. So really loving this formula from Maybelline. And the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray of the hardest time saying that. I'm really, really enjoying this. This is a little bit more expensive. I do think it's worth it. Plus, it smells terrific. <laughs> so really loving this from Charlotte Tilbury. I want to thank you for joining me for this smoky eye get ready with me. I hope you found it fun, useful, and helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's so much great information just waiting for you there. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day. Wear your sunscreen and all. See you in the next video. Bye now.